Hello my YouTube friends, Dave Wilson here. Uh, and the rat rig about finished. Uh, just do, need some fine tuning done on it. I'm going to redo some of the labels on the wiring. Um, made a major, major mistake when I was hooking up the hybrid. I had the two back motors uh, reversed on the hookup and it just went crazy when I tried to run it. So I had to get those straightened out. Uh, in the meantime, I'm still trace, er, testing the filament uh, system, the filament uh, out sensor. So it'll come up here pretty quickly. Um, pretty happy with this so far though. The adding the second set of belts was really interesting and it's made a heck of a difference with the way it runs. Uh, I did some prints before and I wasn't really happy with the way they turned out, but this made a tremendous difference. I've printed these as tests. I've been very pleased with the way they've come out so far off this. Uh, these little Christmas trees, really interesting uh, to print and I've done quite a few of them. And uh, I'm doing them on all the printers just to test them all out. And I've been really happy with them. But the Magneto does a good job and right now I'm printing labels for the uh, rat rag on the Prusa. Uh, did some earlier ones and I wasn't happy the way they turned out so I'm trying to redo that. But uh, the filament should uh, end here really quickly. And this is a great little sensor and it matches very well with the uh, extruder. Actually two pieces, but uh, it's hard to tell where one ends, the other one starts. And they're very inexpensive, under $20 for the sensor. And my friend Tom from Norway has been great help with uh, uh, sending me his ideas and new text or new file to test. So that's what this one is. Okay, just ran out. So it extrudes a little bit and then it'll shoot the rest of the piece out of the top. And I just wait until it finishes this little cycle. Then you just pull the scrap out. Put the new piece in again. It should start self-threading. And it feeds him out. And this is where Tom and I are still working on it. Uh, he thinks I should be able to push the button on the top and it'll just start again. And I've had not very good luck doing that, so I just started from the monitor. So I just come over here and switch to the right printer and just do resume from here. And then it starts. I, I almost like doing it since my setup is right this way that I can make sure that everything's ready to go before I say start again. But um, so that's how it works, and I've been really happy with the way that that sensor uh, takes care of the filament outage. And once I get this set up better, supposedly if it jams, it'll like if I hold it, we'll see if this. It's supposed to sense that the filament is not feeding correctly. Yeah, having trouble with that. I'll have to play with that later. But anyway, the rad rig is running, so I'm going to try to get it moved to a, a better home now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.